Well, it's been a few days since we've been able to post a video that's uh, semi-exciting, but I think we happen to have one today. 1966 Bronco half cab. Excuse the squeaky floor, it's a little sweaty out today. <clears throat> This truck just arrived. It was purchased by our buyer after an extensive checkover process. And it's getting ready to go through our off-road shop for a undercarriage going over an evaluation. My brother is a very, very big connoisseur of these. He had a, uh, actually his first vehicle in high school was one of these and it was a homemade half cab. This is a true half cab. 6,000-ish of these were made according to documentation, and this one, according to paperwork, is shown to be a proper original half cab. Quite a few photos to accompany the truck through its process, as well as on our website. But what you will find with this is it was a survivor. It is not all gunked up underneath with a bunch of putty to make it smooth or shiny. Per the previous owner, we want to go with a driver quality truck. Per the previous owner, the floor pans are original. All of the tubbing is original. And as you can see, the body lines are very crisp. There were a few panels replaced, such as like fenders and maybe the hood. We've also got some paperwork about that. But this is definitely not one of your boogered up, bondoed up. Broncos. Some of these areas you just can't hide fit and finish. And if you look at the door jams, the seats have been replaced. Nice fresh hardware in a lot of places. Clean dash. Steering wheel that's in excellent shape. Very soft leather seats that have been added which are reclinable and adjustable. That's your four-wheel drive shifter, three on the tree. Windshield wiper motors. You can hear how nicely those doors close. The hood body lines are very nice. does have an adjustable track bar and about two and a half inches of lift. We are going to replace the steering gear box just because I notice a little dampness around that. Carburetor is new, plugs, wires, cap, rotor, distributor, water pump, thermostat, belts and hoses, radiator, battery and battery hold down, painless wiring harness that was very cleanly installed washer bottle, even the horns, a lot of the hardware, very clean connections that aren't all corroded up because it's a new wiring harness system. I believe they said it was a painless wiring harness system. Again, body lines, very crisp on it. It is a cut Bronco, so it does have the fender flares, 33 inch tires. Looking at the tires and the condition of everything underneath, I'd say this thing probably has a thousand miles on it since completed. 15 by 10, these are Pro Comp wheels that look like the Mickey Thompsons. Roll bar in the back, very clean tailgate. You need to vacuum the bed area, but that is carpeted. And it does have liner right here. So you can see the bottom of the tailgate is flawless. Have to guess that's been replaced. Looks like the hardware for the tailgate, license plate, all is good. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. We do have to sell it as true mileage is unknown for multiple reasons. One, 
We don't know the original miles because the five digit odometer two, the odometer was supposedly rebuilt. And if that's the case, 337 miles would be since completion. All of the items that are able to be replaced with billet have been replaced, crank handles, door handle, all your brake finish items. Again, absolutely perfect door jam, weather stripping's clean. Only thing it is missing is the stereo, so you'd want to add a stereo to this unit. Parking brake works, three on the tree. Let's see if there's anything in the glove box over right here. Painless wiring harness with its information. Uh, extra window uh, headlight switch. and the doors close incredibly well. It's a nice Bronco, baby Bronco, small Bronco, classic Bronco. Everybody calls them something different, but I think at one point in time, if you're a four wheel drive guy, you've had one, been around one. My dad built countless numbers of these over the years. When I say built, most of the time, when they were 10 or 15 years old, they were already falling apart because of just the elements. So to find one like this, uh, what is this now, 50 years later, um, 60 years later, almost. Pretty impressive. So, uh, gas tank's been replaced. Dual exhaust has been done. They could have done a little cleaner job on the welds, but, you know, a few dollars spent on the exhaust will go a long way if you don't like it. That's probably the only thing I can pick on on this truck. Everything else I'm very impressed with, and once it goes through our shop and Brian does his part, I'll be thoroughly impressed with it. But again, not much to complain about. Starts and runs really well. Doesn't run rich. Just backed it in here. You can hear that door shuts really nice too. Just backed it in here and let it run for a minute. And it didn't stink the whole place up. So that's good news. If you have interest in this unit or any of our side-by-sides, ATVs, boats, September 25th today, and we are working our way towards our winter cleanse. So pretty much any of our boats, ATVs, golf carts, sports cars, anything like that that you have use for, if you let us know, we'll work out a deal. Plenty of cool things in stock at all times. But don't miss out on this Bronco if you're looking for one. This is the one. We will consider trades. We will do layaway and holds. Um, just let us know what your situation is and communicate with us and we will do the best of our ability to make it happen. So davisautosales.com, davis4x4.com, aboveaveragetrucks.com, whatever way you want to search for us, you'll find us. And be sure to continue to watch our videos. The showroom across the road is coming together very nicely. This will be across the street on the rack, more than likely, or in one of our other storage facilities. So call for viewing. And as of today, this truck is available. Thanks for watching. Any questions, drop it in the comment section. If you do not get a response on the comment section, just due to the fact that we do stay busy and we do not always check them, be sure to call 804-271-0030 or send us an email. Again, thanks for watching on this beautiful 1966 Bronco.